Do you guys like weird space nonsense? The type of stuff that sounds like it's science fiction, but it's actually just science? Well, buckle up, because I have got a story for you. Today, I'm going to tell you about The Great Attractor. And no, I'm not talking about myself. So things in space are constantly moving, and I'm not just talking about planets orbiting the sun. As the universe expands, all the galaxies are just sort of spreading out from each other in something that's known as the Hubble Flow. But back in the 70s, scientists discovered that we on Earth aren't quite going with that Hubble Flow. We're being pulled off in a different direction in something that's known as a gravitational anomaly. There are certain things that you just don't want to see anomalies in medical results, bank account details, fast food orders, and the laws of physics. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want any anomalies in those. When scientists start throwing the word anomaly around, that's bad news. And it's not just our galaxy that's being affected by this. Oh no. This is affecting galaxies in a region hundreds of thousands of light years across. That's, that's so much space I can't even wrap my head around it. Like trying to sleep on a summer's night with no air conditioning. There's a lot of movement going on here. Okay, so why don't we just take a look in that direction and see what's up? I mean, telescopes have gotten pretty good, haven't they? If we can take high-definition pictures of Pluto, surely we can go look in the direction we're being pulled and see what's there. Ah, but you're forgetting about the zone of avoidance. Why is there a thing in space called the zone of avoidance? Who is naming these things? Are you trying to give me a panic attack? Look, whatever, let's just keep going, okay? So the zone of avoidance isn't Magneto's new base of operations, it's just an area of space that's so full of stuff that we can't see past it, okay? There's lots of stars and gas and dust and gas and we just can't see what's going on behind it. And whatever the great attractor is, it's hanging out behind the zone of avoidance. Rather suspiciously, I would say. So there is a thing with enough gravitational pull to pull us and a buttload of other stuff towards it, hiding out behind the secret area of space so we can't see it, and doesn't that just freak you out? Doesn't that freak you out? It freaks me out. What is it? Is it a black hole? Is it a massive planet? Is it some sort of Lovecraftian monster? We don't know. So nobody knows for sure what the Great Attractor is, but there is a popular theory that it's just the gravitational center of a supercluster of galaxies known as the Lanier K supercluster. And that's, that's our one, that's the one we're in right now. But we don't actually know for sure because there's, there's all that space junk in the way, we just don't know. Personally, my hope is that it's some horrific yet captivating space entity like the giant fetus in 2001, A Space Odyssey. And when we get close enough to it, it'll answer all our questions about the universe, like, is there an afterlife? Who killed JFK? Would I look good with green hair? Did dinosaurs really have feathers or no? Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this highly educational content. If you'd like to have a chat in the comments, tell me what would you ask the majestic space fetus? And if you'd like to stroke my fragile ego, go ahead and click subscribe. Take care, have a lovely day, and try not to think about the incomprehensible scale of the universe too much, okay? The type of thing... Train! Oh! I want soundproofing. Go away, train. Go away. I just want to make a video. You're so loud. Waiting for the train to leave It's so loud and I want to record Waiting for the train to leave